What happens if you read the Bible for 15 minutes every day? It's one thing Taylor Marshall encourages us to do, and I decided to set myself a challenge to do it for 30 days and see what happened. Here's six things I learned. The first thing I learned is just to read the Bible. You don't have to be following some kind of systematic plan. You don't have to be setting out a goal to read the whole Bible in a year. You don't have to be following some kind of specific process. Just open it up and read. We're gonna see how this 30-day experiment goes. To try to keep me on track, I put together a little chart. So I'm gonna to try to mark off the days so I can see how I'm doing and how, if I'm getting through all the 30 days. And we're gonna do periodic updates and I'll put it together in a video at the end. So for day one, I don't really have a plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the Bible. We're gonna see where God leads me and see what readings stand out to me and what I'm gonna read. I aimed to do 15 minutes a day as part of this experiment, but I didn't force what I was going to read. I started out trying to do more of a Lexio Divina style where you read a little bit and you meditate and try to pray on it. And frankly, I just have trouble doing that. So I ended up really just reading. And the Bible is a great read. If it's helpful for you to have some kind of guide or some kind of process that somebody else set out of read this and that on these certain days, then go for it. But if that's not the kind of thing you're interested in, just crack it open, pick a book and start reading. If you get tired of that book or you're getting bogged down, flip to another book. Any reading of the Bible, is good reading of the Bible. The second thing I learned is to read early in the day. The Bible's dense, and frankly, it's a little bit hard to access at times. And if I put it off till later in the day, what ends up happening routinely is it's time to go to bed, I haven't read the Bible, and so I'm sitting there trying to read the Bible when it's time to go to bed, and that's just not a very good recipe for really soaking in what you're reading. So it's Saturday, 10 o'clock at night, and I hadn't done my scripture reading today. So what am I doing? But I'm doing my scripture reading at 10 o'clock at night with Thaddeus. He's helping me out as I read my scriptures. Today, I'm here in my office. It's first thing in the morning. I got up, I had breakfast and coffee, and now I've got a nice coffee here with me in my office, and I've got my Bible here, and I'm gonna do my Bible reading first thing in the morning before I head to court. I think that's gonna work better. There's something about opening the scripture and letting God's word fill your mind for even just a few minutes it really brings a piece about the day that's quite frankly amazing. The third lesson is the Bible isn't really that long. In just 30 days of basically reading 15 minutes a day, I did a pretty good job, but there were a few days that I wasn't able to get my full 15 minutes in. In just those 30 days, I was able to read the Gospel of Luke, the book of Daniel, Genesis, and Exodus. Now that may not seem like a lot, but that's four books of the Bible that I was able to read in just 30 days. And so if you think about it, if you had a lifelong habit of just reading even 10 minutes a day and you were at it most every day, you would easily read the whole Bible in just a short amount of time. The Bible really isn't that long. It seems intimidating. It seems daunting, but it's actually not as long as you might think it is. The fourth thing is there's amazing stories in the Bible that I just frankly have never heard. You don't get exposed to the whole Bible simply by listening to the readings at Mass. If you don't read the Bible, there's a lot you just probably haven't heard, especially if you're like me and are a cradle Catholic. Did you know that Daniel was thrown to the lions not once, but twice? Everybody knows the story of Daniel in the lion's den, but I frankly had no idea that he went in the lion's den two different times and both times came out unscathed. Little things like that just pop out when you're reading stories, especially if you're reading things that you're familiar with, you really pick up on something new and interesting just by taking a little bit of time to read it. One thing that stood out to me in the Gospel of Luke was when Jesus was being taken away by his captors to be ultimately crucified. The Gospel of Luke says, Peter followed at a distance. This is right before Peter denies our Lord. How many times are we following Jesus, or at least sort of seeming to, going through the motions, but we're really at a distance? We're not right there with Jesus, right where we should be. And what comes next is we fall a lot of times. We deny Jesus, just like Peter. So Peter followed at a distance, right before he denied our Lord three times. The fifth thing I learned is there is no substitute for reading scripture while sitting in front of the Blessed Sacrament. During part of this 30 days, I was able to go to daily mass quite a few times. And bringing my Bible along, along with my hand missile, I would do my rosary usually first, and then sit and read scripture for 10 or 15 minutes before mass began. And simply letting literally God's word soak into my mind while sitting there in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, it really is an experience that's almost like no other I've found. Uh, it really gave me such a deeper connection to the word and to our Lord and I really highly commend you to think about that. Bring your Bible along before Mass 
get there early enough to do a few prayers and just read the Bible. Uh, you know, you could read today the day's readings, but you're going to hear those during Mass. So maybe read something different, something that just is unique to you, uh, and let, let God speak to you. Let Him say what He wants to say to you while sitting right there in front of the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number six is to simply don't give up on reading the Bible. I concluded this experiment 30 days from when I'm recording this part of the video. So I did 30 days of reading every day for at least 10 or 15 minutes. But then I was curious to see if I'd be able to keep up that habit. And frankly, I wasn't. Once I finished the experiment and I finished checking off the boxes on my little chart I made, I kind of fell off the habit. However, I've still maintained the habit of bringing my Bible when I come to Mass and reading at least before Mass. So at least I'm reading the scriptures more than I was. Now, I need to be better about reading every single day. I really think there's a lot of value to that, of reading every day and also praying your rosary every day. It's something I'm still trying to work in and get the habits established. But even if you only read the Bible maybe a couple of times a week, it's probably a couple of times a week more than most Catholics are reading the Bible right now. So I commend it to you to pull out your Bible, pick a spot and start reading and try to figure out when is a good time to read, how is a good method for you to read, give it a shot. You will not be disappointed. Next up, check out my video on Blessed Anastasius Brenner and how he died for the Eucharist. May we all have that strong of faith. St. Joseph, pray for us.